Hey everybody, in this video we're going to look at factoring this polynomial x cubed minus x squared minus 5x plus 5 as a product of irreducible polynomials over three separate fields, the rationals, the reals, and the complexes. So to work over the rationals, we're first going to make a, a clever observation. In the first two terms, the x cubed minus x squared, I can factor out an x squared, be left with x minus 1, and then I can also factor out a minus 5 from the second set of two terms and be left with also an x minus 1, which I can then factor out of both the summons and get x squared minus 5 times x minus 1. Now, the x minus 1, that's already irreducible, it's linear. The x squared minus 5, well, it has two roots, root 5 and negative root 5, neither of which are rational numbers. So we actually know that this is already irreducible. And so this is going to be our factorization over q. If we go to the real numbers, however, x squared minus 5, well, the roots, again, plus root 5, minus root 5, we can now factor over the reals x minus root 5 times x plus root 5. And of course, the x minus 1 just sticks around. Okay, so these are all linear, so they're absolutely irreducible now. If we go to the complex numbers, well, there's nothing more to do. I already have irreducible polynomials. So when would it have been an issue? Well, what if our original polynomial had been x cubed minus x squared plus 5x minus 5? I still would have factored x squared out, left with x minus 1. But now, when I factor out the 5 and I get x minus 1, I keep factoring and I have x squared plus 5 times x minus 1. Now, x squared plus 5 is irreducible over the rationals. And it's even irreducible over the reals, and the reason is that the roots are no longer just square root of 5, but square root of 5 times i and negative square root of 5 times i, which are complex roots. So over the complex numbers, then I would be able to factor x minus root 5i and x plus root 5i, and then still the x minus 1. So... Sometimes, if you, you've already factored it over, say, the reals, and you've got linear terms, you know you're done, even if you go to the complex.